Most resolutions, they're health-based, and I'm not talking about losing weight or maybe eating better. Financial health resolutions, they can be valuable. So we've got four financial resolutions you should make in 2015. Personal finance expert Carmen Rita Wong is here this morning. Good morning, Carmen. Good morning, Mike. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Let's get right to these financial resolutions. What are these four resolutions we should make? Well, they each fall into each other into a plan, let's call it. So first, I want you to commit to having the financial life you really need in 2015, which means getting into financial health and into shape. And two, the way to part of the way to do that is to protect your family and your lifestyle with all the products and tools that are available to you out there. Three, how you do that is as much time as we spend on saving money, let's say whether it's coupon clipping or saving on gas, which a lot of us are doing right now, we want to spend just as much time or at least have that time that we spend saving and focusing on savings focus as well on what's available to you in terms of insurance coverage and emergency savings. Because here's the thing, surveys find we do not have enough money set aside and many of us don't have the correct insurance coverage. One in three of us is gonna end up disabled during our working career, so we need to make sure that we protect ourselves that way. And how do we do that? Well, number four is to set goals. Just as we're gonna set goals for the summer to get in shape and to look a lot better, you need to have that financial core in place. And if you set a time frame that's a lot shorter than the end of all of 2015, you're much more likely to get it done. So focus on doing one thing in March, April, May, and getting it in your calendar. Yeah, you gotta have a plan. Uh, so what are some of your favorite personal finance tools and resources? Because there's gotta be things out there that can help you manage all these and set these goals. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you have to make sure that you have and arm yourself with the knowledge that you need. So let's say, for example, you're looking at the latest, hottest fitness thing. You know, you also want to know what's best for me and for my family, right? So you can go and find out more information at therealcostofliving.com. You can get my book there. Very easy information. Insurance Information Institute, iii.org has information. Also, prudential.com slash financial wellness has information on financial wellness. And you want to know what do I need specifically? And it cuts through all of that big packet of information that you get every year that seems really daunting. Once you know what you need, you can go out and get it for yourself this year. Yeah, we'll revisit that website that you spoke about. But I want to talk about, you know, a lot of our viewers, uh, you know, are in the age of, you know, they have families. They've got young kids. How should we plan yeah. if, 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 you know, one of the parents is no longer with the family? I mean, I'm, there's got to be life insurance plans out there that are, are good options as well. How do we plan for those type of contingencies? Well, of course, you want to make that plan well before someone passes away. That's when insurance is important. So let's say, you know, once you have a mortgage, once you get married, once you have children, anytime someone depends on you, you want to make sure you have coverage. In terms of what kind of coverage you need, a lot of folks are on a budget, so you want to consider a term policy. If your employer doesn't offer it, let's say you're a freelancer, you work on your own, make sure that you shop around and that that's the iii.org site can help you there as to what insurance policies are good for you. And keep in mind too, Mike, that this is the thing. You're saving a lot of money on gas right now. We all are. That money can be put to really great use, $10, $20 a month to protect yourself and your family. Yeah, at least 10 or 20. I think I saved 20 bucks filling up the other day. Do that a couple times a month. You can have 40, 60 bucks to put away for some right. of these plans. Um, again, that website, let's revisit that again. III.org. Simple. Carmen, thanks for and your time. And prudential.com slash financial wellness or the real cost of living.com. And we'll put that on our website as well. Carmen, thanks for your time this morning. Great. All righty, Mary. Thank over you so much. Thanks for having you me. You betcha, Mary. Over to you.